Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a crazy replay, which ended up being my final battle of the last season. They reset trophies right after this, and I actually raided in the airport, because if you guys didn't notice, if you haven't checked it out on Twitter, I'm actually in Finland. I'm recording this from my hotel right now uh, to check out some cool stuff that both the Clash of Clans team as well as the Clash Royale team are working on. But in the meantime, let's check out this replay. You can see we started off with Mirrored Inferno. Towers looks like he has an expo inside of his deck, and that's actually not something I was expecting. I'm going to show you guys how I can actually deal with that expo in a second, uh, but unfortunately, I didn't realize this guy was going to be using it, and because of that, sort of hit me by surprise. And he was able to set up a pretty decent amount of counters, and it let his expo get some damage off against my tower. So, one of my goblins luckily was able to hit it to make sure it didn't do an absolutely ridiculous amount of damage, but you can see a 20% life expo takes out almost half of my tower so at this point at least i know he's going to be playing the expo and the tower is still alive so i sort of just have to play around that and i'm going to show you guys a cool way to counter it uh, with the inferno tower so first of all he's wasting a lot of his elixir he's been sitting at 10 elixir for a while i'm going to play a dragon in the back he plays yet another inferno tower and i really don't have a great push to go along with this dragon i decided to drop barbarians but they were a second too late which means my dragon's going to die first from that inferno tower arrows are going to kill my princess and yet again he is going to be able to take out most of my troops haven't done any damage to his tower just yet and uh, things are looking pretty bleak so at this point really have to make sure i capitalize on that expo placement and try to rush another side let's go ahead and see what happens as we fill up on elixir he drops an expo and watch as i drop an inferno tower in its face and it immediately starts burning that expo down so he didn't realize that was coming fortunately i was able to take that out looks like my dark prince as well as goblins are going to push that right hand lane so we should trade a little bit of damage he actually Actually, he's gonna have his barbarians hit my tower a bit which should bring it down to about 700 800 HP and uh, at this point again even though I had a really nice trade I was able to counter that expo uh, pretty effectively still not able to get the damage done that I needed on the right hand side and uh, he's gonna be able to play another minion ward to take out yet another push on my side I wasn't playing the best game those arrows were really clutch though looks like my dark prince is gonna be able to hit down those barbarians dragons of course will take those out as well and uh, now I'm making another push down the right hand lane i'm really just trying to keep the pressure on him so he doesn't have an opportunity to play that expo Unluck unfortunately yet again the bomber is actually going to get a hit off on my left hand tower which means he only needs a rocket to take out my tower his tower is at 949 hit points i have a prince a dark prince going down the lane he has a rocket inside of his deck i use that arrow to get a little bit of extra damage the charge is going to come in from the prince and with literally half a second remaining i was able to take out that tower before the rocket dropped giving me the one to zero victory over a fully maxed out expo user. So super happy with the result of this one. I probably would have had a terrible plane ride if I ended up losing that. And uh, yeah, I was able to pull out the victory. Pretty awesome stuff. And uh, we'll see where we go throughout this next season. Maybe we can climb up to the number one spot. Maybe we can end up hitting level 12 sometime soon. As you guys saw, I'm only 600 XP away. Uh, but yeah, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, this one was a little bit short because I'm in Finland right now uh, talking with some of the game teams but sure to be some cool stuff coming out of those conversations and I'll fill you guys in as soon as possible. That's going to do it. See you guys later. Peace out.